Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we have a new bottle from a new distillery. It's the Alisa Bay and it's a, a very interesting bottle because it's the second bottle from this distillery. So it's a relatively new one. Um, the Alyssa Bay distillery was built on the area where the Gervin distillery was standing. So yeah, it's a lowlander. But unlike the typical lowlander, this is a smoky whiskey. You can see this here, they're talking a lot about the PPM. What is interesting is they're not talking about uh, one PPM, but they have two different PPMs. And they say it's um, the S PPM, sweet parts per million, and the P PPM peat pots per million. I should have said phenols, but yeah. Um, and they say there's a balance between sweetness and smokiness. Mm, today we're going to find out how the smokiness uh, turns out. It's a relatively high strength whiskey with 48.9% ABV. And the distillery says they do micro maturation. Micro maturation, they have smaller casks. So they have casks varying from 25 liters to 100 liters. So they are relatively small and they come from the Hudson uh, baby bourbon. And this is these are the Hudson baby bourbon barrels. And so they probably um, mature that fast. After a while, they refill them into um, fresh American oak cask first, second fill to yeah, just have a bigger volume to bottle. Um, yeah, and if you keep track of the whiskey.com news, then you will know this distillery had a news back in, oh, I think it was uh, early this, this year, 28th of, I think I have it here, 28th of, uh, the, of March, and they were known for their uh, blockchain. Yeah, they interpret, uh, put the whiskey production into a blockchain system. So every bottle has a QR code. And with that QR code, you can find out um, when and where the whiskey was made or something like that. Some, some uh, authenticity. So you have to take your, your phone and scan the QR code and you're really fast. And can read the QR code pretty good. Oh, and it shows you uh, a nice animation of a artsy fartsy bottle. And you see the bottle number and the date when it was bottled. And then you can discover about Alyssa Bay. Da -da 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 -da. Technology, single malt, precision. I have a little look at a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A little discover the Alyssa Bay whiskey and then you can hack the bottle. Control sweet data, distills, peat, buzzwords, tap to start. You can screen it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like a game. Uh, but I'm um, seems to be um, really bad at it. No, I can't do that. So yeah, you can find out that this bottle, when this bottle was filled and which number of the bottle it was. So it gives you security to know, uh, yeah, this bottle was bottled by the Alyssa Bay distillery. But um, the value for a collector's bottle is only valuable if the distillery is any good. So let's have a try if the whiskey is any good. Ooh, this is a, a really big cork and it's heavy too. And if you look at it, this very gracious hole for pouring a lot of whiskey at the same time. Oh, you can pour the whiskey really fast with that one. But it, it feels like the, the cork is really robust. It's, I don't think this cork will break anytime soon. So yeah. Probably for stability, I don't know, but it's a good cork, definitely. Let's have a look how smoky and how sweet it is. Ooh, very smoky. I, I expected less for 20 parts per million in peat. And 
how much is 19 ppm in sweetness? You do get a lot of smoke. You do get a bit of a, a heather in there and a good amount of oak. So a little vanilla in there. It's not that sweet. It's not a, a very sweet whiskey. It's a very lightly sweet whiskey. But from the smokiness, it's in between a medium and a heavy. So it's a pretty smoky whiskey. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. It's it's amazing that I have such a good uh, quality for, or such a intensity for a young distillery, probably due to the the small the small casks. Hmm. 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 Very intense. Very smoky. So you do feel the 48% and uh, very liquid, very, very fluid, not oily at all. And that, mm. Now here comes the sweetness. You do have a little caramel, you do have a little vanilla with a lot of, not, not a lot of sweetness, medium sweetness, I would say. So it's a, a well-balanced sweetness. From the, the peat, I think it's a bit hefty. It's, it's, um, it's a good amount of peat in there. Cannot quite keep up with the Isla ones, but it's definitely more than the, the medium peated whiskies you know out there. Hmm. Hmm. But you do realize it's a bit of an additive mm, matured whiskey. You have a lot of flavors in there, mm, a lot of nice oak flavors with them, vanilla and Mm, and the smoke and a bit of sweetness and mm, here and there a little fruitiness with a little bit of orange juice and that kind of stuff. Or more, more like an orange peel. Yeah, definitely more like an orange peel, a bit drier. So it's a, a nice sipping whiskey, but you do realize it's not one of these old whiskeys. So it's, it's still missing a bit of maturity, but um, you can already feel this is a really good base for a really good distillery. So they do have potential. I'm really looking forward to the, I don't know, 10th bottling or something like that. But second bottling is quite nice. So if you ever see it somewhere on the shelf, it's a rather small one. So chances are low, you might give it a try. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.